going on guys so I know I promised everybody that I would do a behind the scenes on that spray paint b-roll that I rocked out a couple weeks back um, and I wanted to do the behind the scenes I just haven't got around to it I've had a few other jobs come my way but let's take a behind the scenes look I shot most of what I have with just my cell phone it's not the best footage out there but it gives you the gist of kind of what I was doing and what I was thinking while I was shooting it um, I'll talk through it and we'll uh, kind of get a lowdown on what I was, you know, what my thought process was and everything. So let's see how that goes. I opened with an establishing slider shot of the artist approaching his work, using colorful spray cans in the foreground to set the mood for the scene. This BTS footage showcased one of my favorite shots of the night. I actually cut out a hole in a cardboard box and placed a piece of glass there. This allowed him to spray paint directly on the lens. It was a blast to shoot this. This is a dolly in over the shoulder with a whip transition on the finish. You can't really see the whip transition in the shot here, but I just did it a few times while I had him spray, and I got a look I really liked. Ooh, that flamethrower shot was a last minute add-on that the client suggested, and I'm glad we did it. This first part of this transition piece here was all handheld until I panned behind the client's back. Once I come out on the other side, I'm using a slider. I needed to do that because when I stop, I needed to stay in the same position for when we drop the bag. On the BTS footage, you can see how useful the slider was to keep the camera steady while we've made this shot. And of course we finish off with a finished piece of artwork and a satisfied artist. So what'd you guys think? I'm hoping you liked it. Um, I did start this one with a whole uh, storyboard that I did out and I don't usually storyboard for everything but this was like pretty much all about the shots. I'll pop that up so you can see it. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. He was really happy with how it turned out and I hope to do a lot more work with him. Um, and I'm going to throw a few more B-roll things out here in the next week or so. So keep keep your eyes out. I'm working on some, some secluded shooting B-roll by myself type stuff. So keep an eye out and we'll see you later. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.